It's a beautiful day on the open seas. It's a beautiful day to go sailing. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my properly socially distanced neighbor? Hi, neighbor. I don't know if you noticed, but I was singing about sailing. You see, sailing is a concept that's somewhat foreign to me because I am from a mystical land that is dry and landlocked. It's known as the Midwest. Someone who's not from the Midwest, though, one of my neighbors, Dr. Sorensen, he is going to share with us about a story about sailing, specifically the disciples in Jesus sailing on the Sea of Galilee. I'm really looking forward to hear what he has to say. So while we're listening to that, let me put my shoes on. And then while you're listening to that, I'm going to work on my sailing knots. Good morning, Bear Creek. It's good to be with you today. I miss seeing all of you face to face. Um, today I wanted to share with you one of my favorite paintings. Um, this here is Rembrandt's Storm on the Sea of Galilee. Uh, it's a depiction of a story that comes from the Gospel of Mark. Um, and I think that the story and the painting are kind of an appropriate metaphor for a time like ours. A time when circumstances that are beyond our control might seem like they threaten to overwhelm us. Here's what Mark says. On that day when evening had come, he said to them, let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. And the other boats were with him, and a great windstorm arose. And the waves broke into the boat so that the boat was already filling up. But Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. And they woke him and said to him, teacher, do you not care that we're perishing? And he awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the waves, peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And Jesus said to them, Why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great fear and said to one another, Who is this then, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Now, I don't know about you, um, but I feel like I'm kind of in the midst of a storm of our own right now, right? Things are happening to me and around me that are unnerving, kind of beyond my control. Maybe you feel that way too. And it seems that maybe God must be asleep somewhere. Like the disciples, maybe we want to say to Jesus, why don't you care if we perish? Now, as an aside here, let me tell you, I'm a big fan of the disciples. As a general rule, when the disciples are presented in the Gospels, they're kind of thick-headed and dumb, and they never really quite get Jesus and figure out what he's doing. Um, and that's totally comforting to me because I myself am often kind of thick-headed and dumb and don't really realize what Jesus is doing. So it's comforting to me to know that I'm in very good company with the disciples. Let's zoom in and take a closer look at the disciples as Rembrandt has painted them here. This guy here, this is kind of how I feel right now, right? He's not quite sure what's happening. He doesn't really know what to do. He's sort of lulled into a sense of, of, of sterility, right? But maybe you feel a bit more like this guy, working hard, trying to fix things and figure it out on his own. Or maybe you're like this guy, who's completely overwhelmed and being sick over the side of the boat. However you feel, whichever one of the disciples you might be right now, the gospel does give us an answer. Jesus is right here with us in the boat, in the midst of the storm. I pray for all of you that we might all, myself included, find assurance in the fact that we serve a Lord who, even though he doesn't prevent the storms from occurring, has the power to calm them as well. God bless you, Bear Creek. I hope to see you face to face before long. That was very interesting. Thank you, Dr. Sorensen, uh, for sharing. Very helpful. So, as always, everybody, uh, don't forget to share your joy. Also, my nautical knot practice is going very well. On a totally unrelated note, could someone please call my wife? I think she went grocery shopping. Um, I need her for something not related to nautical knots. Thank you.
It's such a good feeling to know you're alive. It's such a happy feeling you're growing inside. And when you wake up ready to say, I think I'll make a snappy new day. It's such a good feeling, a very good feeling, the feeling you know that I'll be back when the day is new. And I'll have more ideas for you. And you'll have things you'll want to talk about. I will too.